Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Ba -da -da -da. So, uh, I need to go run some errands. I look ridiculous, but that's fine. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, Allie. Long time no talk. You know what I mean? I look ridiculous. Let's wear that at a different time. Wendy, don't get cocky. Good morning, everyone. It's still morning, I think. Is it? We got eight minutes of morning left. We're going to bring in the afternoon together. Yes, we are. Heather! See what I did there? So, I wanted... I'm going into town. I need to go by the post office and pay that money. I need to go by the weed shop. I need to fill up my gas tank. I need to go by the bank. And I need to withdraw out some money. So I got some stuff I need to do. Um, I was going to leave later to Heather's. But the conundrum I'm finding myself in is my mom has a procedure done tomorrow morning. And they're putting her under. It's not, it's, it's a colonoscopy. But they're still putting her under. So... Like, that gives me anxiety. And my dad's going to be there with her. Good morning, Libby. Good morning, everyone. Um, and she was like, Wendy Renee, you better go. Go. It's a beautiful day. Get your stuff done and go. I'm fine. And I'm like, I don't know, Mom. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm torn. And Dad's like, she'll be fine, baby. She's, you know, it's just what it is. And. But still, and I don't have a bad feeling. I just have the, I should be here. So I would love your guys' thoughts, comments, replies, concerns, anything you may have. Wish you all oh, thank you. just isn't Lucy, I'll tell you that right now. Ain't that right, Max? The question is, would you leave your mom or dad second thoughts thank you Shannon Shannon your video your post this morning on one of my posts it was so it took my breath away. It actually took my breath away. And I just want to say thank you for sharing that and saying that. It was so lovely. I can't even imagine. I don't know. You said it so beautifully. And for those that didn't see it, I posted a tic tac or whatever kind of video I, I didn't make it myself I just shared it um, but Shannon posted underneath it and she stated it was really hard being there for her mother because she became the mother and all she wanted was her mother
Doesn't that take your breath away? That just, that's intense. That's intense and so beautifully said. I need an IUD. What? What? Hold on, I'm getting ready to stop at McDonald's, so I'll be able to read your comments. Stay on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Da 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 friend. And I can't wait to get on the road again. I need something to eat, y'all. I'm feeling a little. You know. You know what I mean. That's what we do though we care for our it's thank you marinella everyone hit the thumbs up button if you don't mind for yourself if you don't mind i'm already blotched mind blotched i need to eat tonight i don't think i ate i don't remember eating yesterday Will you be using the bubble wrap today? Order whenever you're ready. Can I get a number seven with the large sweet tea, medium fry, and no ketchup? A large sweet tea? Yes, ma'am. And you said no ketchup? Yes, ma'am. On both burgers, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Perfecto, that's it. All right, if everything is correct, then ma'am, it's going to be 7-Eleven for a Thank you. Thank you. I'm so hungry. No, I never ate yesterday. That's what, Why are you getting up off all of my ass, man? This truck is oh, on me. Like, or aggressively. Like, I almost feel like I should let him go, but I can't fit. So aggressive. Man, I've lost a lot of people. It was up to 70 and then it left. I guess I need to start being naked. But focus on this. What the crap? Nobody wants to see me. I got a life and everything. Like, Max, we're not their life. It's devastating. It's devastating. Oh, that's me. I'm coming. I'm a coming. All right, cheeseburger meals, no ketchup? Yes, ma'am. never felt the back of my head. Might want to put my hat back on. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Many things. Oh. I could have been aggressive. I need to focus on my light. You guys see I cleaned my car a little bit. I mean, I didn't dust it. Thank you so much. I'm very excited about this. Hold on, guys. I need to eat some. Whoa. Focus. Focus on getting this food in my tummy. It is crazy. I didn't eat yesterday, I guess. Mm. I 
I should start doing mug bong videos. Gastric bypass girl with tiny tummy eats a whole cheeseburger. I mean, it writes itself. I'm ready, what's your question? Love you, Michelle. I thought that was the night before. Have any of you ever lied for your kids? I'm gonna say probably. remember but definitely not gonna say no like they're sick but oh well I homeschooled my son a whole lot and uh, when he did go to school if I mean I was really bad at that you guys it got to the point because honestly I was just coping through life like trying to make it day by day my man was so off but if he would say mom I don't feel good I would just be like okay go to bed because then I didn't have to get up yes absolute neglect I get that I'm not denying that I wasn't a good mom but I did my best but it just got to the point where he would just not ever want to go to school. He had like separation anxiety and we were together all the time. So I just started homeschooling him. Some hamburger. But, like I said before in an old video, not an old, old video, but like a month ago, nice, I would, I, yeah, uh, yeah, I would do that. What was that saying? Oh, in the old video, like, my sister shamed me quite a bit because she said if my son killed someone or someone in my family killed someone, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily turn them in, but I would tell them, you need to turn yourself in or I'm going to. Like, and she thought that was crazy that I would actually turn my kid in. I'm like, really? I kind of feel like... You gotta do that. I'm in front of a bank teller. They're gonna look at me on video. I'm freaking starving, man.
put up. Excuse me. Withdraw from checking. So many questions. <clears throat> I love that you guys are communicating together right now. You get to like catch up with each other. Why don't you guys exchange phone numbers? Don't be mad at it. just walked out of that bank. Her name is Trish Licklider. We used to be a BFF. So you can go ahead. We hung out all the time. Like we were very, 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 very tight. That. Like I said, the population is very low here, so you really do, if you don't know them, they're familiar. Tell them to do it. That's great. You guys are having your own conversation. That's fine. Yeah, I'm in a drive through bank. They're taking their time. I don't want... I don't like to be seen in this town. Which is crazy because... When I lived and grew up in this town, I was a, uh, I was very well liked and, and loved and, you know, like I was a good kid. I never drank. I was always a sober driver for my friends and so I don't know why I just try to hide out from the I just you know that fake interaction when you see somebody like we're no we're not I'm not doing this with you I'm sorry I know her too you want to be where everybody knows your name I don't have my account number, but can you deposit this in my account? Thank you so much. So when I get to Heather's, um, I'm going to have some kind of agenda as far as moving forward. I want to start because uh, whenever I talk about I'm the happiest and purest 
perform when I'm in Guatemala. Now I have very stressful times in Guatemala, which scares me to go back. But I, ha I feel like I actually have something to offer when I travel. I mean, obviously we all know I'm funny all the time, but other than that, you guys deserve more and a reason to really want to tune in and see me. And I love talking about it. I love talking about all the things I've learned, um, the different, you know, just the different things, like just as simple as the four agreements, like I, I get, I get nervous. Like I, I was like reading it and then I'm like, I don't think anybody's really interested, but I guess I need to be like the people that are interested are going to watch it. And that's what I'm trying to benefit from. Thank you, sweetheart. Have a good one. Um, cause that's, I mean, it's really about touching the ones that inappropriate that are looking for the lesson and I, I think I think I want to give I want to do more that's what I'm trying to say so you know if you have thoughts or anything that you're uh, I don't I was talking to my mom yesterday and she was like I was telling her how I think I should write a book it's just there's just so many alleys that I forget about that are like humongous humongous things that need to be spoken about and I just forget so I need to contact all my friends and get stories blah 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 but uh, I I said something I can't even remember what we were talking about uh, but she was like oh my gosh Wendy just that one thing could be a chapter in a book and it just seems so minute to me but it was just like a really big deal i can't it was so small in my head that i can't even remember what it was um but i want to write i want you guys to get to know me more i know we have a lot of new bumblebees and if you have i want to teach no, i don't want to teach i want to share information that I find beneficial in my life. I want to invite you to email me if you have a situation going on in your life and you want my advice or input. I'll keep you anonymous, but I could do you know a live on that to try to help people with uh, coping skills or anything where my my advice or input is valuable. And I want to, I want to share.